Welcome to Short View Trading. It's Tuesday, 9th of May, around 9 a.m. London time. What matters today for markets? And in particular, if you're a trader of US equity futures with a one to two week time horizon, what should you be thinking about and focusing on? That's the purpose of this clip. Do like and subscribe. We'll send it to you as and when it comes out. Well, price action in markets has been pretty encouraging. The S&P, for example, has rallied through the second half of March. And since then, it's been consolidating its gains in a pretty tight trading range. And the buy the dip psychology has been alive and well. Whenever the index has tested its March highs, which has recently been the 50 day moving average, it's rallied. That's clearly encouraging for the bulls. And if we drill down into the key sectors and stocks in the S&P, some of them show pretty good price action. Companies like Apple have been trending firmly higher, now back at their highs from last summer. So the price pattern's good, and if we zoom out and look at the S&P closing price, actually it's been trending up since its lows in October with higher lows in the past six months, and it's been trying to break above the 4200 level, as you can see on the chart. 4170 to 4180 has been a key technical level in recent years, at which the index is rallied from, and indeed failed at on several occasions. So the key question is whether the index is going to break above that level. Will it break out of its recent trading range to the upside, led possibly by Apple and other key tech stocks? Well, somewhat troublingly in that respect, if you look at this chart on your screen, the internals of the S&P 500 are actually pretty poor. It's the largest 20 stocks, most of them are mega cap tech names, which have been holding the index up this year. The other 480 names have performed relatively poorly. Their market cap is in fact down a little bit year to date. And the divergence between tech and the rest has been growing in recent weeks. So the rally in the S&P since March has been on weak breadth, led really only by tech stocks. That raises some really key question marks about the sustainability of this rally. Cyclically sensitive parts of the market, in contrast, have been struggling in recent weeks and months. Have a look, for example, at the Dow Jones Transport Index. That's a good example of that. The index is still trading around its March lows, possibly on concerns about weakness in the US economy, while, of course, the S&P and other tech-heavy markets have rallied. So how then should one trade this market? Is it gonna break out to the upside or is it gonna break down? Well, we answer that question in our daily publication. In it, we make a one to two week trading recommendation, long or short, on US equity futures. It's available on the website to subscribers. We also offer a free trial. If you're interested, click on the link below, enter your name, email address, and we'll send you our daily trading publication free for the next three weeks. So what gives us an edge as we make these calls on equity markets? Well, it's indicators like this one you see on your screen now. This is one of our faster moving risk appetite models. It's generally good at picking key turning points in markets. It generated buy signals in late April and early May when the market was close to key technical support levels. And you can see that it's once again close to sell signal levels. So how are we trading this market? We'll have a look at our daily publication for detail on all of that. That was your morning market hit. Do follow us on YouTube, search under Shortview Trading. Join us on Twitter, LinkedIn, and or Facebook. Thanks for listening.